Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of MagicReview.com. Today we have Infallible by Mark Elsden. I'm a big fan of Mark Elsden. Uh, he's got a lot of cool effects out there that fit my repertoire that I really enjoy. This isn't one I'd necessarily put in my repertoire, but as far as the the way everything works and what you're getting, it's very a very good thing. Uh, so first thing you're getting is you get these two envelopes here. Uh, they're, they're really well made. They're nice and smooth and silky feeling. I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing. Uh, and then just inside of them is a playing card that's going to be one of your predictions. And then you get another one that's a different prediction because you can do this trick and then repeat it. Uh, you also get a deck of cards. Now look at this. This looks like a dollar store deck of cards. Um, these are the cards. Uh, they're and they're they're pretty. Uh, they got a decent uh, feel to them. They they don't stick. You know they they spread pretty well. Um, they're kind of look at the face on that king there. He's blushing. Anyway, um, you get this deck, and this deck, the reason you get this deck is there's a very specific property of this deck of cards uh, that's needed to be able to pull off this effect. Um, so, that's why you have to have this, this sort of cheapy deck. Also, you will need to write on the back of this each of these cards. You need to write a number on the back of every single card. He walks you through how to do all that, but that's what you're predicting. You, you basically, um, you're going to... You'll have the deck face down, and then they'll go through these cards and stop, and you'll be seeing numbers all along. This is the effect. You'll be seeing numbers, and they stop on any number that interests them, and then whatever number they stop at, you actually ignore the number, but you show the face of that card. That's prediction number one, the face. And then the second, you go through the faces here, and they pick any card that they, they like, and let's say they pick the jack or whatever. You ignore the jack, but you use the number that's on the back. Okay, so that's the basic idea. That's how you select a playing card and a number. Then when, when all is said and done, you'll pull out this card and it'll say number 48 and seven of spades. And that will be the two matching things that they picked out of the deck. And then they might say, hey, can you do that again? And you say, sure, and you pull out another prediction and do it. Now, the way Mark Elsden does it is he actually has uh, a video of himself that he makes where he's filming it just like I'm doing right now on my iPhone. Um, and he films it saying, hi, my name's, uh, in my case, Jeff Stone, and uh, I'm about to show you a card trick or whatever your pattern is going to be. And uh, let me flip this around. And then he'll show, I have an envelope, and inside there is a card, and there's also a number written on that card. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video for a moment and I'll have you pick a card and a number. So this is a video that you've texted to your spectator. It's on their phone. They pause the video on their phone. You go through that selection process I just showed, just showed you and then you tell them, okay, continue playing the video. And then it'll be you on the video saying, okay, uh, like I said, uh, you picked any number that you wanted and sure enough, there's the number 43 or 20, whatever the number is and it matches the number they picked and the card you chose was the king of hearts and it matches the card they chose now if they say can you do that again you send them a text of the other video where you're doing the exact same thing but you're saying um, you uh, probably are watching this video because you just saw somebody pick the king of hearts and the number 42 so now you and you've asked to have it repeated so here's another video with another prediction uh, for the same thing and so you show the again on the video you show the card and you do the same thing pause the video then and, and so on so sorry that's kind of a dry explanation of it uh, but that's the basic effect that's what you're getting that's what you're paying 50 freaking dollars for that's a lot of money frankly I think uh, considering that you are getting this dollar store quality deck um, and a couple of envelopes and a couple of playing cards which by the way the playing cards are nothing special here. They could be, I mean, if you just had some loose cards laying around, you could use them. Um, and then you get the DVD box and the DVD. So for 50 bucks, I still gave it a good rating. I gave it four stars. The reason being, it, the ad copy is dead on. It does exactly what you, you get, exactly what they say you get. 
The method is stupid simple. It's basically self-working. You don't have to do any work. You just you got to one time prep the playing cards, and then you when you do the trick, you just deal them out and follow the directions, and it's basically self-working. Um, the idea of doing the video is is uh, you don't have to do that. You can just use these envelopes in the actual performance. Uh, but they do have some tips on so a couple of ideas you can do with the video that really personalizes it. And then the advantage of the video that they say is it's a video, it's not some funky, tricky app where if you do something to it, it changes what the prediction is going to be or whatever. It's a video you made you know, a week ago or whatever, and you sent it to them. It's on their phone. They can keep the video forever. There is nothing to find because the video is legitimate. So the deck is where it's all sneaky. That's where it all happens. Anyway, that's what you're getting. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I have not a whole lot to say about it. The reason I didn't give it a super high rating, like a five star, is because I do feel 50 bucks is a little bit expensive for what you're getting. Uh, but if you like the effect, and if you don't mind those types of effects where you're dealing, uh, and you've got a good presentation you can add on to it, this is a very good method, very clean method, very simple method very very doable and effective method so that's it that's all i've got to say about that let us move on to the random itunes song of the moment today we have man ronnie Millsap. this is an old one i love it he got you you know i always i've often wondered what what makes a song a country song? And because uh, I've heard a lot of country songs that sounds like rock and roll to me. And I finally figured out one day it's the lyrics. And there's a fly buzzing around here. It's the lyrics. The lyrics are always just a little bit, they got a little clever twist to them. Uh, one of my favorite examples of this is Randy Travis' song called On the Other Hand. Basically, in the song, he says, On the one hand, I can stay here and be with you all night or whatever. But on the other hand, is a golden band. <laughs> I just love that little play on words there. And of course, the golden band is, is representing his wife, meaning this is why I shouldn't stay with you, with you here tonight. Um, this uh, Ronnie Millsap song's got this sign, it's the same type of thing, where he says, um, "I got the memories, I got this, I got that, but he got you." Uh, so anyway, uh, another depressing country music song. That's it for me, folks, today. Uh, I'll see you on the next review video. Peace, over, and out.